Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Cancer December 2, 2022. The moon in your sign today can be lively, personal, direct, and spontaneous. It's a time to get in touch with some of the needs and desires you've brushed off recently. There can be impatient or immature reactions to delays as the day advances with Venus heading into opposition with retrograde Mars. Buried matter can emerge and leave you feeling resentful of others, or desirous of something you can't have. Passions tend to run high, but satisfying them may not be straightforward. The byproduct can be tension, but you might be able to turn it into something more creative. It can be challenging to be indifferent towards others, but it can be emotionally freeing to do so from time to time. Consider being kinder to yourself by looking the other way when it is appropriate to do so. This may also be a time when tension or hyperactivity in your personal life can disrupt your public life, work, or performance. You might want to avoid stirring the pot until you know where you truly stand on an issue, as things can escalate quickly at this time. The heavens above are acting quite mischievously today. This is because sweet Venus, our goddess planet of attraction and romance, is spinning across the sky from a feisty Mars, the red planet of sex and passion, now spinning in your solar fourth house of domesticity. This could bring some sharp friction between you and your sweetheart if you live together and responsibilities are not being aligned equally. However, if you're in a happy connection, you may instead decide to get fired up and passionate behind closed doors. Singles should be on the prowl to see if they catch the eyes of someone with a spicy temperament. What do you want to be when you grow up? No matter how old you are or where you are in your career path, you always have a chance to become a better version of yourself professionally. Since the first quarter moon in your sign is here today, you have the opportunity to swim away from your former professional self while easing into the professional you want to be. Now is the time to let go of any illusion, confusion, or delusion surrounding your self-perception. Practice self-acceptance during the lunation to be your best professional self. In the lead-up to the moon's return to your income sector tomorrow, this is an important point in any month for having your antennas up while keeping an open mind. As the moon's first visit since Jupiter turned direct and began his journey back to your income sector, this will be a chance to check in with planets on the income and career fronts that are preparing for his return. It could feel challenging to express yourself spontaneously today. With the current celestial atmosphere, you're probably not going to get your way no matter how hard you try. In fact, trying hard is futile in this sort of configuration. It's best to just take the easy route. Stick to your usual routine and wait this one out. It's important to get a little exercise so the frustrated energy gets released as quickly as it appears. Have some fun with this today by getting into your favorite hobbies. Regardless of what you like to do, be it knitting, woodworking, sewing, or gourmet cooking, go for it. Allowing yourself the regular opportunity to express yourself in this fashion builds confidence and fosters even more creative energy. This kind of release will sharpen your mind and make your body feel better, as well. Take some time for this today and enjoy yourself. While it won't be until just before the moon leaves Pisces tomorrow that it will align with Jupiter for the last time before he leaves or with Neptune, for the last time while in retrograde motion here. Yet already the moon is sharpening your sixth sense and feeling more emotionally and intuitively engaged you can sense that this year has reached a major turning point. With Jupiter in direct, Neptune still in retrograde motion but both at a standstill, this is a chance to pause just as you have a window into the past, present and future. While having the moon in Pisces is allowing you to become more emotionally engaged, this last visit before the Dwarf Planet series leaves your relationship sector will see them clash by tomorrow. This might push some buttons, but this will be a valuable chance to get a better feel for this mission to better understand what you want from your relationships and what they need from you. Our eyes in the sky. As the moon makes its way through intuitive Pisces today, your psychic sensitivities are heightened. Be mindful of who you surround yourself with, and try not to get sucked into any drama that doesn't involve you. 
A dreamy, romantic ambience takes hold of the collective today. This is a great time to break down emotional barriers and connect with that special someone. If you're not currently in a relationship, use this energy to spoil and appreciate yourself. You apply yourself to a subject that has stimulated your interest over a sustained period. It's easier for you to obtain the necessary focus you need and you're more motivated than you have ever been before. Use this newfound enthusiasm and concentrate on making contacts to solve any outstanding issues needed for a successful outcome. You are spending happy hours with family and want even more time with them. It makes you feel strong and in harmony with the world. A meeting with close friends will be very pleasant and intellectually stimulating. Everything is streamlined and progresses well at work. Any outstanding issues are resolved, and new ones completed easily. Don't tire yourself unnecessarily or start too many projects, concentrate on present everyday tasks, find what it is you want to really achieve and remain open-minded regarding your colleagues. These vibes also bode well for financial planning, so if want to actualize a material dream, this is a good time to take steps in that direction. Passion projects also take center stage as Luna forms a helpful connection to Mars. This is a great time to play in the creative realms, so get out the art supplies. In the morning, the first quarter moon in Pisces asks us to reflect on events that took place during the November 23rd Sagittarius new moon. This date coincided with Jupiter stationing direct, giving us the green light to pursue our dreams. Yet, now, the Jupiter-ruled moon clashes with the Jupiter-ruled sun, and the pitfalls of optimism and overextension become clear again. Just because we have a green light doesn't mean that we don't need to heed other traffic signals. Jumping into things too idealistically was what got us into trouble months ago. If we don't want history to repeat, we must exercise patience and temperance. The first quarter moon encourages us to remove rose-colored glasses and accept that disappointment is inevitable in our climb to success. That's what makes the eventual achievement of our aims so much sweeter. One achievement follows another, and you're able to make an especially good impression when cooperating with others. You even impress outsiders with your understanding, leading to exciting opportunities, you have to consider whether to follow up on or not. Whatever you decide, don't be fearful, you're in great shape to make the most of this promising time. Even though you feel the world is yours, don't try to buy it all at once. It's important not to allow your exuberance take control of your money, so keep the overview of your finances. Think twice about whether a purchase is really necessary. Patient and accepting you feel you're able to seduce almost anyone you meet. Don't get too carried away. Not everyone is automatically impressed, even if you are friendly. Be selective about who you talk to, take note of reactions you get. Use your intuition, if your intention is to find new love, you're successful. After nightfall, the moon sextals Uranus in Taurus, providing serendipitous insights. Opportunities fall into our laps unprovoked, perhaps through a chance discussion with a stranger or tuning into a radio or television program at a key moment. A missed appointment can land us in the right place at the right time. Stay open to receiving divine guidance and allow the universe to deliver unexpected surprises.